So a lot of people wondering what does phase two exactly mean? Well, Governor Ron DeSantis's phase two executive order means that bars, movie theaters and other personal service industries like tattoo parlors are now starting today allowed to reopen. COVID-19, though, is changing the way some of these industries um, offer services to their customers. And tonight on your side, Troy Klesh joins us with how some businesses are making adjustments. Before you put ink on your body here at Oxford Ink Tattoo, you will have to put the ink on the paper saying that you have not been in contact with anyone who has had COVID-19. A buzz in the air. We're feeling really, really good. We're glad to be able to, to be back open and, and provide our service for the community. Jaron Oxford was eagerly waiting to open his tattoo shop, but is curious why it took so long. But we deal with blood versus just hair and just like external things. So it was kind of like, you know, we definitely heavily regulate. So it was very confusing. Now he requires people to wear masks and be fever free for three days. 15 minutes will be spent in between appointments to sterilize the area. Movie theaters also making changes to open in phase two. We are really doing our very best to anticipate what people are going to need to feel in a movie theater and need to see in a movie theater. Shana David Massett, co-owner of Sunray Cinema, says they started an on-demand program but are working on some other things before they open to the general public, like touchless food service and reserved seating. It's just a, a no-brainer, really clear way to create social distance without imposing these restrictions on people that make it feel like it's 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 some kind of stilted uncomfortable experience. It's comforting to her and Oxford they can be open while following the guidelines in place. For us as a business it was a lot more than just like um, skin or body modifications. To some people it is a very big therapy. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.